Well, hi friends, and welcome back to another planner related video for Vlogmas. Um, I just, we're gonna go over how I pre-plan my kits and kind of how I, I've already talked a little bit of how I store them, but also how I store them. If you're new here, then welcome. I've been using these covers from, these are like little sticker albums, from Simply Gilded for a long time. This is kind of my thing but I've had them all stretched out into other al other things as well. And what I'm trying to do is take all the different stickers for all the different types of planners and put them in the one for each month. So I have some other things here. Move out of the way and then we'll talk about those in a minute. Um, but this one is my one for December. And what I've kind of spent some time doing is because I'm planning, so before, starting over, before Black Friday, I kind of went through all of my albums, everything, and I resituated everything to this way. I'm gonna show you now. And I did that because I was trying to see if I needed anything, if I needed to order anything, because I wanted to order, I wanted to make sure I could order kits. So, um, yeah, that's what I did. So anyway, I had this album, this is for my December, and basically what I have done is I've put, like, anything related to Christmas kind of up in here, uh, although this one, well, that's Christmas, yeah. So anything pretty much Christmassy is, the foil specific is here. So if I have any, like, foil packs or anything, it'll all be in here. And then behind here, um, I went ahead and put the full kits, the full A5 size kits. And these are the ones that I have. I just have a few right now. And then after that, I've resituated it and put them in here. These are my mini kits. Let me see if I can fix the glare. Okay, that's some better. I think I'll have to prop it up. So let's get another one here. We're going to go through these. Okay. So anyway, um, all my mini kits. So I had these in a little mini binder little mini three ring binder and I just kind of want everything to be in one spot so I can just grab it and go so what I don't have in here is some other other stickers like for my Hobonichis and my TPC Nation so I don't have a couple of those in here but these are all my mini kits so I use these on my daily pages um, in these are more mini in my um, I hope in my TPC Nation I have the hybrid I use these on the daily pages in there for memory planning this year so that's what I have in here are all those this is a mini one that I have to cut down. I have a couple in here too that you can see. They're just mini, like two page kits. They're super small. So those will go in there as well. And then behind that, I have any of my specific Christmas um, stickers. So I have all of those in here like this, kind of whatever I would need. And on, I also have a mini one like this that, I, that doesn't necessarily match but it's what I'm using. This is a Christmas one I used before this one. Um, it has a Christmas candy cane inside. And then anything that's small, I have in this. And I have a lot. I do, because I have a collection for days, right? I love it. I actually am using up a lot of it, so I'm actually very proud of myself. But So anything like that, I keep in here. So that's kind of how I've been. I've switched everything over to this, situa this situation right here. And that is how I'm doing it. Uh, now, uh, I do keep all my Disney-themed kits in here. And I have everything in here ready to go for my Disney. I'm going to be doing 52 weeks of Disney. You can see this is so full, it won't even close. But once I start using them, it will. So 52 weeks for all next year, I have a mental health and wellness planner and I'll be using all Disney kits. So what I did was I went ahead and went in here and I went through all the weeks. And I just started by putting everything in here that I wanted to use. Again, let me show you guys how I did it. So I just went through all the weeks of January, starting with the first week. This is I'm saving this here for this one. It's a New Year's a New Year's one. But I'm trying to see if I can find a Disney themed one. Anyway, so this is my granddaughter's birthday and so I, this is very specific in here and I just went through and this is everything I believe through June. I'll just do a really quick flip. These are all kits I have collected over the years and just hoarded to save for this specific time. There's a few in here that I'm not super crazy about that I might switch out if I have any new ones once I start, you know, clean, cleaning things up. And then we're into this is into um, June. And then, so this all goes all the way through June. And then the back here, I've just put some foil that is foil specific for Disney, as you can see, so that I can pull it as needed if I want to. This is even little Mickey heads in here. This is all very specific Disney. Here's um, the honeybee one. So that's what I have there. This is all through June. It's already all the kits are picked. I actually have them all picked through the through. I have another one that has July through December. But that is what I've been using these this one for specifically. And then I have another white one here, and this is all my foil. And it's mostly, I use a lot of um, hollow is my favorite, and I use a lot of, um, if I'm going to use gold, I have I prefer rose gold. So I just kind of have everything else in here that I haven't like situated and pulled anything. Because if, it, if it's not, like this isn't a specific 
month specific to me. It's just summer. So I haven't pulled that into anything. So I know I can come in here and get it. And then I have hollow sparkle and then I have gold sparkle as well. This is gold sparkle. And I, it's just beautiful. I love it. So that's, and then I have little extras back here. And then some kits from Scribble Prints Cut that I bought. So that's kind of how I've been doing that. So I wanted to run you guys through how I pre-plan other than my Disney stuff, which is there. This is my pre-plan. I've already situated this for the next year. Um, and it's been working really, really well for me this year. So these are leftover pages that I have over here in the side. So should I want to pull from them, I probably will end up putting these back in like um, November or whatever. But normally in the front here, this is what I'm using for my memory planner. Let me move that. Normally in the front up here, I have all my different date dots, right? So these are all different date dots. Let me put this in here. And I keep all those in here so I can pull them as needed. And then I have all my kits for December. So the first up are my memory planning kits. Sorry, you guys, that glare. I'm trying to be better about this. So first up are all my memory planning kits. So these are the ones I have. And I, behind it, I will put the foil bundle that I want to use. And if I haven't picked the foil bundle, then there isn't one there. But, but you can see they're all pretty much there. So these are what I'm going to use for my memory for December. Okay, and then I have, you can see I'm, I have something here that I was waiting for, which was this one here. <laughs> That's what I want to use for my memory planner, for my new Alp. So this is for the, because I, ha I have this week twice. So this is for the, my old one, and this will be for my new one, this whole kit. We'll go right here. And then I have my granddaughter's birthday, so I haven't picked any foil for this. You can see there's no foil behind it. And then I have, I want a Disney kit for this. So I have to go look in my extra Disney kits to pull. And then I have all of these. So I just kind of pre-planned all this already because I will be traveling and I want it all together. So again, let's see, am I missing one? Nope. I just have a spot there. I don't know why I did that. And then I have, here's the next week. So I kind of already have all of these in here and I know what I'm going to be using. And these are the extra ones I haven't fit in there. So that's all the way through. February. And then I had some extra ones in here that I was I had thought about. These are for my, so that's what I did here because I'm going to be traveling and while I was pulling all these, that's why I have the extra here because I was going to put them in the sleeve but they don't fit. These are for my B6 planner. So my, my B6 planner that I have that I use all the time, I've already pulled the weeks that I want to use for that. And these are the ones I'm going to use for that planner. So I already have all my kits pulled. That's what I'll be using. And then the same thing behind here for my B6. So these are my memory and then my B6 planner. These are the ones I'm going to be using for the month of February. So that's kind of how I planned all that out. And this will be, I, I'll be taking this with me when I'm traveling. And then the same thing with all, what I'm going to do in here is I'll just go ahead and pull the ones that are through February out and take those with me as well. And then I'll pull my Hobonichi kits. But that's kind of how I do it. I just kind of take a, an empty album and then I just kind of look through and I make sure I have all my memory keeping ones. And then obviously I can, because I'm home, I can just pull from this um, for my B6 one. So I just have all my memory ones here and then I have um, the foils right behind it. And I will eventually, once this is not so full, because I don't necessarily need to have three months in here. If I'm home, I won't have my B6 in here. I'll just have that in my other one, and I'll flip through and use it at random. But I really do like to plan out my memory kits. Um, I really like to make sure I have everything. So I have counted to make sure I have everything. So what I'll end up doing is, um, because I just got a, a big foil order in, I'll go through and see what I'm missing and fill that in with the foil that I want to use, because I do want to use foil again this year. Okay, so I have March and April here, and I just wanted to show you how I'm normally going to, how I've normally planned these out, um, other than where I've pulled to take with me. So I have March here. So let's start with March, and I'll just I'll show you what I have in here. Because like I said, I went ahead and I planned as far as advance as I could to see if I needed any kits. Because I would, you know, there was, Black Friday is like the biggest sell of the year, so I wanted to get those. So here's what I have. I have the date specific, I mean the month specific foil in here. As you can see, it's for St. Patrick's Day. And then I divided these up into tabs. So I have my memory planner and my daily planner. And so I know they're right here. And this is my son's birthday. So I wrote the, the week on there. And I just used some um, post-it notes. Because, I, you know, I have them. And I want to use what I have. I'm trying to use what I have. So that's what I did. Is when I, had, I just did this. And I kind of put in here all of my kits. So these are the month, These are the weeks I want to use it. And if it's something special, like it's my daughter's birthday. And it's St. Patrick's Day. And it's also my other son's birthday. 
then I've kind of situated that there. Again, this is for my, my, my daily plan with me. So this is what I use for my, my B6. And again, I put down exactly what it was. You can kind of see there. Those are exactly the ones I'm gonna be using. And then here is my deco again, just like before. I have either any deco or any mini kits, and then here's my mini kits. And these don't, these, some of them are have deco first, and some of them have memory kits, and I have an extra page in there, you can see. So these are my, just my little kits that I can use on my, like my, um, my journals. So those are some old kits that I've saved, and I just wanna use them. So that's how I've done that one. So, so I've just taken the post-it notes, just made them work for me so that's that's kind of how I've done it and then like I know those I'm probably gonna just reuse them because every month um, those will be specific to you know obviously those are month in the month of my those birthdays are not going to change so then I have Easter in here and like spring and then I've just can carried on here so I, I didn't put a memory plan because I already know this is my memory plan this is my daily so I've just carried on here with my memory planner I have a lot of kits that I've just planned out. It's been really nice. And then here is my dailies. So I know this is my dailies. This is what I'm going to be using to see if I need anything else. And then I have my mini kits are right here, some deco and then mini kits. I didn't have a lot of deco for this month. And you can see those are my mini kits that I have to use on my dailies. And then I can mix and match these. They don't have to necessarily just be for April, but that's what I'm, you know, I feel like they're themed for April, but I can grab, if I need some for March or some for February, I can I can look in here and see. So that is how I have pre-planned, you guys. I hope that you liked this and enjoyed it. I just wanted to share um, how I do it and how I, because every sale before, like they have all the planner sales, I will go through and organize everything to make sure to see what I need. Um, and then and then again, I have like icons and things in the smaller ones. Or I have like, these are, this is my work planner. So I have all my minimal ones in here. So I have everything organized this way. And this is, but this is how I pre-plan. And it helps me to know and use the kits that I have, which is my goal, right? It's my goal for next year to use the kits that I have. So this way I've, I'm all organized. I know, I knew I didn't need anything, but I'll need some into I might need some for for um, October and November of next year but I'll wait until it gets closer and see what I have and what I'm using so anyway that's how I pre-plan guys I hope you enjoyed this and I hope it gave you some fun ideas and you found it useful thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one bye